So if you've had a loved one in a long-term care facility during this pandemic, you know the challenges faced when trying to go visit them. Well, tonight, two Illinois women are in our nation's capital to fight for change in the future public health emergencies. WGEM's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich has followed this trip and joins us live tonight in Springfield with more. Mike. Dylan McKenzie, there's been tears, hugs, and moments to reflect while advocates have been in the nation's capital fighting for the Essential Caregivers Act. Carrie Lulgedal was able to share the story of her son, Lynn, who we met just earlier this week during a roundtable discussion this afternoon. She explained many residents are still isolated in long-term care facilities, limited to one visit per week that's cut off after half an hour or less. Carrie's glad her facility in the Metro East is allowing for frequent visits again but she never wants that taken away. What he just went through is not a life. I didn't keep him alive to imprison him. We have to fight. We have to have this bill passed. My son could live in a facility another 50 years and he cannot go through this again. And neither could his mother. Congresswoman Claudia Tenney of New York is the lead sponsor of the Essential Caregivers Act. She says this plan could allow residents to have up to two people as essential caregivers. Those caregivers would have the ability to stay with their loved one for up to 12 hours a day. Now, this House resolution was just introduced this month, so it still has quite a ways to go before there's a vote by Congress or the Senate. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Mike Multich, WGEM News.